welcome back and in this video we're going to talk about the data type qualifiers uh, because we're talking about the data types so um, I think it's best to also explain this one so you actually know how to use it so the data type qualifiers is used to modify the size of a data type uh, so either to increase the size or to reduce the size for example if you've already declared an integer say for example you declare an integer and you realize that the integer that you've declared will not be able to actually order the value that you need so what you can do is you can use a long uh, qualifier which is a um, single L I forgot to mention you, have to, um, you actually have to realize that uh, objective C is um, is sensitive to your um, uh, to case is case sensitive so uh, long qualifier is used to extend the value range of data type e.g. to increase the range of an integer you need to prefix the declaration with long for example you declare it as long int maybe you want to store the word population which is about which is nearly 7 billion now so you can store that in a long int and long long qualifier also exists so this will further increase the size of a long by twice the original size. In fact, long long will change the range from 32 bits to 64 bits. So you can declare a long long int stars in the sky which is going to hold a large number of values and it's going to use 64 bits of your memory. So, And um, the third qualifier is the short. So a short is used to reduce the range of an int. It reduces an integer which is normally a 32 bit to a 16 bit thereby limiting its capacity so for example if you're going to be storing something that is very small maybe you want to uh, store just the number of tires in a car um, you can use a short int rather than using the the whole int which is gonna if you just use the ordinary int it's gonna use the 32 bit which you don't really necessarily need because you're only storing uh, very small value so um, it's better to just say short int and then put in the, the number of tires in a car so that's how we do it in Xcode so like I was saying before you have to realize that uh, Xcode is case sensitive which means if you type a capital high capital I A is going to give you uh, this red exclamation mark which means something is wrong because it, you expect a small I so make sure that uh, you type it correctly uh, all this um, uh, yellowish exclamation mark basically what is telling you is that uh, we've declared a lot of variables but we have not used it it's not going to stop you from running your project but it's just telling you that we have declared variables here but we have not actually used them so it's just a warning sign so I have declared this is how you declare a, a integer for example you've declared an integer here the integer you declare which says int number of students will be able to hold value up to a certain number for example um, I can't remember the maximum number on top of my head let's just assume that the maximum number you can store is a 40,000 so but when you say long int word population it will increase the amount of numbers I mean the size um, that it can store so long int will be able to store a bigger value than just an ordinary integer and if you use a long long integer which says it's going to turn it to a 64 bit because normally an um, integer is 32 bit so this one will even be able to store even bigger numbers this is why we can store the number of stars that we can count in the sky um, we can store that on a long long int um, well possibly won't fit but it's just an example then if you want to store a very short integer you don't want to you know sh store a lot of numbers then you can use this short uh, instead so this um, um just like I said please just bear with me all this thing will make sense as we progress along this video I'm just want to make sure that uh, I'm dealing with each topic in this video in each video so that I don't overwhelm you with too much information in one I mean in a in a very very long video so um I hope that one is clear if not or you can always leave me comments and I will find a way to explain myself and I'll see you in the next video thank you